Hi friends. Our story today is titled Curious George Goes to a Chocolate Factory. Mm, that looks delicious. So yesterday's story was about how chocolate is grown from a tree. So we have our chocolate story. We remember um, the beans from the cacao tree makes chocolate. Now this book is not real. The book from yesterday was a real book about real chocolate, but we can still read our story today about this silly monkey. And I know in the title, it says George is curious. There's that letter C. So I wonder what will happen. Here we go. This is George. George was a good little monkey and was always very curious. One day, George went for a drive with his friend, the man with the yellow hat. Look, George, the man said, there's a store in the chocolate factory up ahead. Let's stop for a treat. Mm, that sounds nice. George loved chocolates. Inside the store, boxes of chocolates were stacked everywhere but the man with the yellow hat found his favorites right away. George, he said, wait here while I buy these and please stay out of trouble. Let's see what happens. Remember, George is very curious. George looked around the store. He saw chocolate covered cherries and fudge flavored lollipops. A chocolate bunny caught his eye. Mmm, that looks yummy. Friends, remember in our story from yesterday, you can mold liquid chocolate into any shape. So this bunny was created from a liquid mold. Then something else caught his eye. What were all those people looking at? George was curious. Hmm, I wonder what they're looking at. He climbed up to get a better look. Through the window, he saw lots of trays filled with little brown dots. What were all those little brown dots? George was curious. He found a door that led to the other side of the window. Uh oh. No, he's leaving the man with the yellow hat and the man with the yellow hat asked him to stay out of trouble. Let's see. The little brown dots were chocolates, of course. A tour guide was showing a group of people how to tell what was inside the chocolates by looking at the swirls on the top. Hmm, that's a good trick. And here the illustrator gave us some examples. The little swirl on the top, that means it's fudge. The one with the C on the top, that says there's k -k caramel inside for C. Two little wiggles means there's marshmallows. Ooh, that looks almost like a little M for marshmallows. The little squiggle on top is for a chocolate truffle. That means a truffle is really soft. Uh, this zigzag is nougat. This sideways swirl is for orange fluff. Yummy, yummy. And the one at the bottom, that was George's favorite, banana cream. Hmm. George followed the tour group until they came to a balcony overlooking the room where the chocolates were made. Down below, busy workers picked the candy off the machines and put them in boxes. So friends, this is a chocolate factory. In the story we read yesterday, friends, we uh, saw pictures of men unloading the cocoa out of bags on a train to put into the chocolate factory. So this is where the, the cocoa beans get turned into chocolate. There, these were the machines that made the chocolates with the swirls on top. The chocolates came out of the machines on long belts how did they get their swirls? George was curious. So friends, here's the machine that makes the little tiny chocolates and here they are all finished and all the people in the factory are putting the chocolates in boxes. But George wants to know, how does the liquid chocolate get onto the chocolate in a swirly pattern? Hmm, he's quite curious. 
He climbed down from the balcony and up onto a machine. Uh oh, friends, take a look at this illustration. His little monkey foot moved this meter of the machine. So it's not going to move slow. It's not going to move medium and it's not going to move fast. George moved the machine to extra fast. I think that might cause a problem. Let's see what happens. George peeked inside. He was trying to see what he was making the swirls when all of a sudden the chocolates began coming out faster and faster. They sped by him so quickly they seemed to be running on legs of their own. Take a look at the workers. They look a little worried. Ah, what are they going to do? The chocolates are moving too fast and I'm noticing the chocolates are falling onto the floor. Oh no. Quick, bring more boxes, yelled a man with a tall white hat. What happened? asked another man. Nobody answered. Nobody knew what had happened and everyone was so busy that no one noticed George. The workers began to fill behind, fall behind and the candy began to fall off the end of the belt. Save the chocolates, yelled the man with the tall white hat. That's, that's sad. All the chocolates are being wasted, friends. Meanwhile, George saw one of his favorites whiz by. He tried to catch the banana cream chocolate, but it was too fast. He chased it to the end of the belt. There's that banana cream, that long banana shape. At the end of the belt, a pile of chocolates was growing taller and taller. George had never seen so many chocolates. As he searched for the banana cream, he put the others in empty boxes. That's a good idea, he's helping. George was a fast worker. Someone noticed and yelled, bring that monkey more boxes. He's helping us catch up. Hmm. Friends, think about this. Is this a real or pretend story? I think this is pretend because I've never seen a monkey work in a chocolate factory, but George is being a good helper. Not all the chocolates made it into the boxes, but no more chocolates fell on the floor. Take a look at this illustration. The illustrator drew several arms of the monkey and he's moving to show that he's catching the chocolates and quickly putting some in boxes, but he's also putting some in his mouth. And if you look, he's even using his monkey foot because his monkey feet are sort of like hands too. And he's using his feet to put them in boxes so he can work extra fast. Just when George and the workers were all caught up, the tour guide ran in with the man with the yellow hat. Get that monkey out of here, she yelled. He's ruining our chocolates. But this monkey saved the chocolates, explained the workers. Mm, she sounds kind of angry. The man with a tall white hat said to George, you may have caused us some trouble, but you were a speedy little monkey. You deserve a big box of candy for all your help. George was glad he was not in trouble, but he did not take the chocolates. Friends, look at the illustration of George. He's holding his tummy and I see his mouth is, mm, he was eating all those chocolates. How do you think he feels? Oh, I think he has a stomach ache. Back in the parking lot, the workers waved goodbye as George and his friend got into their little blue car. George, are you sure you don't want any chocolates before we leave? Asked the man with the yellow hat. George was sure he did not want any more chocolates. I think George had eaten enough in that story, friends. Well, I'm hungry for chocolates now. I don't know about you. I'm glad George was helpful, but he was also quite curious. and His curiosity got him into trouble. I think next time, maybe George will learn to stay with the man with the yellow hat and not get into trouble. I hope you liked our story, friends. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.